In this week's Parsha, we learn about the great sin of worshiping the golden calf. As a result, Moshe broke the tablets that he had received directly from God and in which God inscribed the Ten Commandments. Then the Jewish people went through a process of repentance and healing and God gave Moshe the second complete set of tablets. And God instructed that both the complete tablets and the shattered tablets should be placed in the Holy Ark, in the Holy of Holies, in the Holy Temple. The two questions come to mind. Number one, why did Moshe break the tablets? If the Jewish people didn't deserve it, he could have, you know, just hide it somewhere, put it somewhere. Number two, why did God instruct to place the shattered tablets in the Holy Ark? Um, is it in a, a constant reminder of our failures and, and sins? One of the explanations is that there are some Jewish people that their spiritual service, their Torah, prayer, and mitzvahs are complete. Uh, they are compared to the complete tablets. Their life is spiritually wholesome and harmonious. But then there's many of us that our tablets are shattered. Our spiritual service of the study of Torah, prayer, doing mitzvahs is incomplete uh, due to life's circumstances, pressures, anxiety. And so what happens to the shattered tablets, the incomplete Torah and mitzvahs of those of us that, that didn't get the opportunity? Are they, do they have any value? And this is God's response. Place both the complete and incomplete tablets in the ark. And the message is that the broken tablets and the broken mitzvahs of the Jewish people are also in the holiest place. They are sacred and holy and dear to God. And they share the same bond and the same uh, connection with Hashem, just like those who their tablets are complete. And this is the meaning of put the complete tablets and the incomplete tablets in the ark, in the holiest place, because both share the same sanctity and the same love and bond with Hashem. Have a wonderful Shabbos.